Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I recently put up a video about how I bought a house and how I then built it in The Sims and if you guys wanted to decorate it with me and a lot of you guys wanted to. So I'm going to continue that series today. We are going to build the garden and my office. I am super, super excited about it. But I just really want to make a quick announcement that uh, Molly is right there. Look at her. Um... Yes, girl. So that might be distracting, but the best kind of distracting, you know. Also, this series about me building in The Sims is going to be an additional upload to what I normally do this week. So normally I upload on Mondays and Fridays, and this is going to be in addition to that. So we're going to have a period of time with three uploads. But I think that's going to be the best because a lot of you guys didn't necessarily subscribe for The Sims content, but appreciate it. And I want to cater to everybody. So you guys that didn't subscribe for Sims content, you're not missing out on, on anything else, basically, is what I wanted to say. So without further ado, let's build my office and the garden. First of all, the garden. So I want to build this terrace. This terrace is already there, by the way. Just wanted to make that clear. There is a terrace with a roof on top. That roof is sort of a plasticky, see-through-esque roof that I think we're just going to keep because it works just fine. Um, the terrace is not raised like I've built it here, but I don't have building skills to make it a 1-1 one -one with what the house looks like. Um, however, this little terrace space is right outside of the second living room. The second living Living room we're going to turn into like a de art decor Dungeons and Dragons game room um so what I want to do with this space is that I want to make it like somewhere you can sit and chill outside of the game room so it's going to have plenty of seating areas um I don't know what we're going to do in terms of those specific pieces of furniture but I've seen them secondhand I see them people selling outdoor furniture all the time so I think that's going to be really really easy to do then there's this upcycle table that was in the sims that looks very much indeed like something I could make myself which I probably will anyway for this build I am just finding things in the sims that look slightly like something I could make or something I would choose out for myself so we have this little stool with some flowers and we have some lanterns I love these sort of hanging lights um, because that's something Jens and I've we've been talking a lot about it could be really cool to have hanging lights you can turn on also just when people are inside the game room which gives it a really nice and cozy vibe when we were out there the last time we were standing outside under this little roof and thinking about how cool it would be next time there's a thunderstorm you can go and sit outside in the summer while it's raining and just the vibe is there the vibe is there now on this second terrace this is right outside the kitchen living room area so i definitely want some seating out here just the idea of sitting outside having dinner in the summer i'm just I am basically in love with that idea for sure. Um, and also we're definitely going to add some type of grill, preferably not a coal one. I would prefer to stay all kinds of away from that. But again, the specifics are not necessarily there. Also, let me remind you, this is just a game. This is just me thinking, just being creative, trying to figure something out. It might look completely different. Obviously, we're going to take all the sustainability factors into account, but this is definitely just me having fun with it. Also, when it comes to landscaping, in the yard there is like this weird, very just dark slanted area where there isn't really room for anything. So I'm thinking just to make that, because it's so slanted like this, it's going to be like a wildflower bed. That could be really, really cool. So I think we're going to do that. Um, around or like underneath the second terrace, there is just tons of bushes and greenery, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I really want to add some more greenery that isn't just lawn. Now I made an entire impact video about lawn, so you know how I feel about that. So I want to make sure that the yard is as useful as possible. Also, there is more garden yard space than you can see here because I put this house on a lot that was too small. So on the other side of the house, there's actually also room. So I'm trying to show here that I want to make some, just some places for growing vegetables. That is kind of what I'm trying to do here, but I don't want it to be there where I'm putting it. I want it to be on the other side of the house. So that is its own little urban farming area if that makes any sense. That could be really cool. I don't know anything about gardening, so it's definitely a learning by doing. 
But I think that's also something that's going to be really, really cool about that process in and of itself. Okay. My piece de resistance is going to be my own office. I am not 100% sold on the location of my office yet. So this area was the best room that I could see so far because it has the most windows and I am kind of dependent on natural light. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, the desk that I'm putting into my office, I already own. It is the desk I'm sitting at right now. Definitely some light curtains, definitely some plants, but then I'm also seeing if I could find a chair that looks like the chair that I have now because I want that to keep being my chair. I love that one for sure. Um, other than that, I'm going to think, and this is the thing that I think about the most when I think about my office, and it's definitely the backdrop for my filming. So first of all, I'm going to decorate something or make something that is designed to be the backdrop and nothing else, which I think is pretty exciting. So we're going to have a bookshelf with some amazing, lovely decor items on it and then a picture wall. And honestly, I think it's harder to make picture walls in The Sims than it is to make picture walls in real life. Basically, every wall in my apartment at this point in time is a picture wall with tons of different stuff on it. Um, but I think it's difficult in The Sims to do that. Um, but, but then it's just a representation and it's going to be much, much easier. So when I do the picture wall, I'm trying to color coordinate both the content of the frames and the frames themselves. So mix and matching a couple of different wood, wood types and then some black and then some white. Um, but in order for not it to be super, super messy, I'm going to sort of limit myself to like three to four shades and then see if I can also match the inside of the frame so matching the pictures themselves obviously and I don't really know what type of pictures I'm thinking um, I'm going to choose between the things that I already own see if I can find something great but I really liked how this ended up and it's a really good representation of sort of what I want I want an interesting cool background for you guys to also look at while I am talking if I am boring because let's be real that happens it's fine and this is just going to be my space, which I am super excited about. I haven't had an actual office, a place for me just to work and nothing else ever. Right now we're in my bedroom and that's how I've always worked. That's how I've always filmed. So having a space just for me, mind blown. Also, this picture wall is going to be a little bit different. I couldn't find anything specifically for what I wanted. But what essentially I want is that I want to take the different posters that I've had made of me and <laughs> want them on a wall. Just complete ego trip. I know. I no, no, I, I have no defense. But I want to celebrate those feats in my career. Also within the office, even though it is primarily my office, I also want it to be a space where we can use it as a guest room. So a place where we can have people sleep over, a place where people can take a nap if they want to, etc. So I'm going to put in, this is kind of a couch. The idea is that it's going to be a couch you can fall out onto a double bed. Um, but I don't know how that's going to go down yet. That's going to be like a secondhand option purchase situation. But I really want it to also be a guest room. I'm trying to make a tripod here because there isn't a tripod in The Sims. Um, but let's be real, often I don't use a tripod. Often I simply just put boxes on top of each other. So actually this is a very realistic rendition of what my office might look like. Tons of clutter, tons of business things. I don't know what business things are business things in my experience I, I don't really know but I try to mimic the level of clutter that I usually have around me that I find inspiring and motivating and not completely dreadful um so this is in my opinion perfect and how it turned out I'm so so excited I think this is one of the rooms I'm the most excited about honestly I think for Jens it is definitely the game room but this is going to be my game room okay so overall that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. We might also change the location of the office altogether. We might also change basically everything. But I know I want to use my desk. I want to use my chair. I want to use all the things that I already have. So it's not going to be perhaps that different for you, but it's going to be a completely different experience for me. Anyway, that was my office and that was the garden and things I am thinking and thoughts I have in my head. Uh, uh, let me know if you have any ideas or any tips. I would love to hear you guys out and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. I will probably post one of my normal videos before I'm going to post a new build video. But let me know if you want to keep watching this. Just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the links to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!